Hi, this is Margaret with Recipe Amateur Investigator. Today we're going to be making red velvet waffles with cream cheese glaze. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to have to do is in a separate bowl, you're going to put your dry ingredients. So your dry ingredients is going to be two cups of flour, one fourth of sugar, one tablespoon plus one teaspoon of baking powder, two teaspoons of cocoa, and a half a teaspoon of salt. So we're going to push this to the side. Next, we're going to put our wet ingredients in. So our wet ingredients are going to be two eggs, two eggs in. Perfect. And we're going to use one third cup of butter. I got unsalted. Make sure it's melted. We're going to add in two tablespoons of, uh, or two teaspoons, shall I say, of vanilla, which I love to call my magic. Oops, that's one and two. And make sure you have some either like um, red food coloring or red gel. So I'm going to use um, gel, not food coloring. And then we're going to beat this. Be right back. I forgot something. Crazy me. One moment. Let's get everything ready. And I forgot the most important thing to cook with. So hard to use. And then we're going to whip this together. And we're just going to let it blend, let it blend. And just make sure you have your waffle ready to go as well, but I'm not going to plug it in quite yet. Then the next we're going to do is add in the buttermilk now. I'm going to put in my buttermilk. And this buttermilk is one cup and one third of, th I mean, three fourths of buttermilk. Get the buttermilk. And we're going to mix it again. <laughs> I'm going to put in some food color to make it red. One moment. So my kind of looks a little pink, but that's okay. I'm going to add that in. I'm going to stop it. And then we're going to add in all the dry ingredients. Okay. We've got a dust cloud going on. Okay, so let's put in the dry ingredients. And we're going to mix it and then we're going to put it in the waffle iron. Mix. And this recipe I found out, I didn't realize it. This recipe is called The Author is Kevin is Cooking. And I was reading a little bit more. It says this recipe for red velvet waffle and cream cheese glaze is created and by and is property of Kevin O'Leary. So Kevin O'Leary, recipe amateur, is doing your recipe. I can't wait to try it so I can make it for Valentine's Day. So the website is kevinistcooking.com and then red velvet waffle with cream cheese glaze. So it looks like this is done. I'm going to open it up so let it drip down. And meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my waffle arm to get it hot. I think I've been having this waffle arm, this black and decker waffle arm probably for over 15 years. And I already sprayed it. I'm just going to let it heat up. While this is getting heat up, I'm going to tell you how I made the um, cream cheese glaze because I already made it. So with the cream cheese glaze, you're going to get four ounces of cream cheese. Make sure it's softened. I left mine out, but it's kind of cool here for like four and a half hours. But if you're in a warmer place, maybe two hours. Then I got four tablespoons of soft butter. I mixed it together with one and a half cup of confection sugar. With one teaspoon, I use two teaspoons because I like my vanilla. I like a little bit more vanilla. He put one teaspoon and a half a cup of whole milk. 
I didn't have whole milk, so I like half and half because I like mine a little bit more creamier texture. So let's get this started. I'm just waiting for this to warm up a little bit. Feels kind of good here. So wait a little bit. And then we're going to try this recipe. I think that's red enough. And this would be a nice little surprise for Valentine's Day morning or even evening. Or just a special treat. Or just for yourself. Sorry. I'm going to make sure I have every little drop of it. So it's still a little warm. Just waiting for it to heat up. And I also got some chopped um, pecans. But if you don't want pecans, you can go ahead and use walnuts, almonds, fresh fruit like strawberries or even blueberries. They're in season right now too. But if you don't like them, don't put them. Don't give me that little sad little face over there who's filming me. So I think this is warm enough. So next I'm going to do is get my little ladle. Little people. And we're going to put it in. Kind of thick, but waffle is thick. So just one moment, a little bit more. Perfect. And I'm gonna shut it, and we're just gonna let it sit for just a little bit. And it should be ready in a couple of minutes. So patient is golden. But you can also find me, while this is cooking, you can also find me on Facebook at Recipe Amateur Investigator. Come join me in my group page. Um, subscribe to me on um, YouTube here on our channel. Hit subscribe, leave me a nice little comment. And you can see I have so many recipes on there for you to try. And to tell you honestly, the first time um, doing this recipe, there was only one I can think of of all my recipes I did, didn't turn out right. And I think it was the Napoleon one, and that is a funny video to watch. So it is still cooking. We're just gonna give it a few more minutes. And then I got my, got my plate ready. And the cream cheese, this cream cheese is so delicious. I make this cream cheese a lot. It's so good for so many basic stuff. And when I was looking at these recipes, most of them are all the same. They're, they're mostly, they look all the same. So let's see what this is. Oh, look, look how pretty it looks. Look at the red velvet. See how pretty? But I'm just gonna let this sit for just a second. It's supposed to turn green, but it hasn't turned green yet, but I might take it out earlier, just so you can see. So this thing's about 10 years old. Let me go ahead and turn it off. It looks dead to me. I don't like my waffles real crispy, but if you do, cook it longer. But I think this is cooked long enough. So I'm gonna put it on my plate and then use this instead. It's so hot. It's safe. them separated anyway so when I pick them up it won't be so hot on me okay yum 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 this looks so pretty okay so let's put some um, stuff all over it give me one moment I'm gonna put it I think that's how the waffle looks like there that looks good there's the waffle it is a red velvet and it is a waffle smells divine and then I'm going to get some cream cheese. I made a lot, so I have some for the weekend. And you just drizzle it. You don't need a lot. And then I'm gonna put some pecans on mine. So you can see what it looks like. And this is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? Now let's taste it. Mm. Oh, this is good. 
Very, very, very good. So sorry. <laughs> well, if you like this recipe, try it. I'm sure your family, your friends, or just for yourself would just love it. Treat you something special. It's Valentine's Day, even if it's just for yourself. Again, if you like this recipe, hit subscribe, follow me some more. We're going to be doing a whole bunch of new recipes for 2022. I have more Valentine ideals to, to, to make as well. One comes with a torch, so we'll see. So again, thank you for coming into my kitchen. I hope your family will enjoy this recipe as much as my family will. Bye, guys.